Honda just unveiled the all-new 2024 Prelude in Japan Mobility Show and shocked the entire industry. This is an iconic two-door sports coupe with a secret new feature that left everyone confused. Honda has launched this car to mark their 75th anniversary, and in this video, I'm going to tell you why this car is worth the wait. I also have news on a new sports car by Mazda and a 1300 horsepower Nissan GTR that will also launch on the same day. Here's what exactly happened. Honda, a brand known for its iconic VTEC engines and reliability has finally decided to capture their lost shares of the sports car market. Honda did a good job with the Civic Type R, but they did not have any car to compete with the Supra or GTR. We've long been hearing rumors of the new S2000, but that car will most probably be fully electric. With the new Prelude, Honda is going to target combustion lovers who love the roar of the engine. First, let's talk about the design. This car was only showcased in a white color, but looks quite good both from the front and the rear. The front grille is minimalistic, maintaining a clean look that's both aerodynamic and sophisticated, featuring subtle intakes that hint at its performance capabilities without being overly aggressive. Moving up Upward, the headlights are a testament to contemporary design, with narrow, focused beams that suggest a level of precision and advanced technology within. Then we have a slope roof line that goes down towards the rear. The roof, as you see, is totally blacked out, creating a visual break, enhancing the car's side profile and lending it a two-tone aesthetic that's both sporty and luxurious. The door handles are integrated within the body, giving a minimalistic appeal, but perhaps the most special thing about this car is its rear. Honda has also dropped a new secret engine that this car is going to offer, but more on that in a minute. At the rear, the design elements come together to create a cohesive statement of power and grace. The duckbill spoiler is a design choice that manages to be both understated and functional, improving the car's aerodynamics while enhancing its visual appeal. Below this, the gloss black bumper contributes to the sense of width and stability, grounding the vehicle and giving it a planted look. The full-width LED light strip is a striking feature that not only elevates the design, but also improves visibility, acting as a beacon that's instantly recognizable, even from a distance. The rear design looks quite similar to the Porsche Taycan Turbo S. Then, we have large 20-inch wheels that fill the arches and give the car a muscular appearance. The wheel's gloss black finish contrasts strikingly with the body, drawing the eye to the blue brake calipers, which not only serve as a pop of color, but also signify the high-performance nature of the vehicle. As for the powertrain, while specifics have not been released, Honda did leak many details across different Japanese car forums. Honda's aim is to offer the best power-to-weight ratio compared to all other hybrids in this category. If you look at the Accord Hybrid, it peaks out at 212 horsepower and 247 pound-feet of torque. The Prelude is going to come with a 2-liter inline-four engine, along with 24-watt electric motors for extra performance. There are also some rumors about a new revolutionary fuel that Honda was quietly developing for years to overthrow EV. Introducing Honda's Hydrogen Engine, the newly announced FCEV by Honda, set to be released in 2024. The new Hydrogen Prelude model aims to stand on par with established hydrogen-powered vehicles such as Toyota's Mirai and Hyundai's Nexo, showcasing Honda's commitment to crafting a vehicle vehicle that excels in both performance and sustainability. Now, the benefits of a hydrogen sports car are not just limited to the environment. The manufacturing process of fuel cells demands significantly less lithium and cobalt compared to battery electric vehicles, or BEVs, meaning a lower price point, while also giving you good range. The discontinuation of coupe versions of the Accord and Civic might have been a strategic move to pave the way for the Prelude. Honda's lineup reshuffle suggests that they've been making room for this very moment, the return of the Prelude as a distinguished sports coupe that doesn't overlap with their existing models. Honda is not only investing in hybrid technology, but also in full electric vehicles, or EVs, like the Honda Prologue. When it comes to pricing, while speculative, it would not be surprising to see the Prelude position competitively against gas-powered equivalents like the Toyota GR86. You are looking somewhere between the $55,000 and $60,000 range. There is also talk of an EV variant for this car but that will not come anytime before 2026. This EV variant is expected to get delays now, since Honda just scraped a $5 billion deal with GM to make electric cars. Instead, Honda CEO Toshihiro Mibe thinks that they should focus on other
other alternatives as well. It should definitely not just rely on electric cars. But why is Honda's CEO not fully sold on the idea of EV? Honda has decided to halt their EV production plans, a huge pivot from their initial $5 billion collaboration with General Motors to produce affordable electric vehicles. This abrupt change comes only 18 months after announcing the GM partnership aimed at producing EVs with the use of GM's Ultium battery tech, targeting vehicles priced under $30,000. It was an ambitious plan, now scrapped, which has sent ripples of surprise across the market and investor. Mibe isn't convinced about EVs just yet, particularly for the American market. He's highlighted several issues, from the current state of charging infrastructure to the premium pricing of electric vehicles, which may not align with middle-class budget. Low demand and a significant backlash from customers are also cited as reason. The move by Honda seems to reflect a broader industry hesitation. Ford and General Motors are also re-evaluating their electrification timelines, indicating a shift from their earlier aggressive EV production forecast. Even GM, with a staggering $35 billion investment in electrification, plans has decided to slow down due to lower than expected demand, labor strikes, and other financial pressures. What stands out in this scenario is Honda's approach. CEO Mibe asserts that their goal is to achieve carbon neutrality, but not solely through EV. Instead, Honda is exploring a variety of solutions, including advanced hybrids, which they believe could be a more immediate and efficient alternative in reducing CO2 emissions. Aside from the Honda Prelude, we have Nissan unveiling the Nissan Hyperforce, the final installment in its innovative series of five hyper-concept cars. The Hyperforce is an all-electric hyper performance supercar designed for racing enthusiasts and gamers. It is environmentally friendly and suitable for daily use. The car is powered by a high output all electric powertrain featuring an all solid state battery capable of producing 1000 kilowatts. It utilizes Nissan's E-Force all wheel control technology and is constructed with a lightweight body made of high strength carbon for improved cornering and handling. Its exterior design is aerodynamically efficient with input from the Nismo racing team and includes active aerodynamic elements and a plasma actuator to enhance grip. Inside, the Hyperforce features two driving modes, R, Racing, and GT, Grand Touring, with a user interface that changes color and display according to the mode. The car also boasts advanced autonomous drive technology, including Hyper LiDAR, and sensors tuned for sports driving to ensure safety on roads and circuits. On the other hand, Mazda introduced the Mazda Icon SP, a compact sports car concept featuring a two-row to rotary EV system. This system is highly adaptable, capable of burning various fuels such as hydrogen and generating electricity with carbon neutral fuel. The iconic SP is designed to have a lower center of gravity to enhance driving performance and has a powertrain that allows for a virtually carbon neutral state when charged with renewable energy. The car's proportions and weight distribution aim to deliver excellent driving performance, even providing power for outdoor leisure or in times of disaster. The iconic SP is marked by its vibrant red color, Viola Red, reflecting Mazda's philosophy and the joy of driving. It has a power weight ratio of 3.9, a maximum output of 370 PS. The 2024 Honda Prelude concept is more than a mere revival. It's a testament to Honda's commitment to innovation and performance, infused with the promise of electrification. As we eagerly await more details, one thing is clear. The Prelude is poised to once again redefine what a sports coupe can be. With a heritage of reliability and the allure of modern technology, the Prelude concept is set to turn heads and carve a new path for Honda in the sports car domain. Do you like the new Honda Prelude? Let me know down in the comments below. Please subscribe to my channel and hit the like button if you like this video. Thanks for watching.